Hi friends. So I actually don't have another story, um, but Miss Andrea posted on a teacher's page that we're in this short story. So you see there's no pictures. So maybe you guys can draw some pictures for it and we can add your pictures to this story, okay? But I wanted to read it for you guys because I think it's really important and kind of explains a little bit and dives in a little bit about what is really kind of going on right now. So it's called The Time We Spring Clean the World. The world, it got so busy. There were people all around. They left their germs behind them in the air and on the ground. These germs grew bigger and stronger and they wanted to come and stay. They didn't want to hurt anyone. They just really wanted to play. Sometimes they tried to hold your hand or tickled your throat or your nose. They could make you cough and sneeze and make your face as red as a rose. And so these germs took over. They started to make people ill. And with every cough we coughed, more and more germs would spill. All the kings and queens had a meeting. It's time to clean up the world, they said. And so they had to close lots of fun stuff just so these germs couldn't spread. We couldn't go to cinemas or restaurants for our tea. There was no football or parties. The world got as quiet as could be. The kids stopped going to school. The mums and dads went to work less. Then a great big giant scrubbing brush cleaned the sky and the sea and the mess. Dad started teaching the sums. Big brothers played with us more. Mums were in charge of homework and we read and played jigsaws galore. The whole world was washing their hands and building super toilet roll forts. Outside was quiet and peaceful. Now home was the place for all of the sports. So we played in the world that was home and our days filled up with fun and love and the germs, they grew smaller and smaller and the sun watched from up above. Then one morning, the sun woke up early. She smiled and stretched her beams wide. The world had been fully spring cleaned. It was time to go back outside. We opened our doors oh so slowly and breathed in the clean and fresh air. We promised that forever and always of this beautiful world, we would take care. So we haven't been able to go outside yet, but I think the story has the right idea is that that's the direction we're moving in. So feel free to draw pictures, whichever part was your favorite, you can send them to me and we can send them out to everybody. And if you'd like a copy of this story, let me know. And thanks to Miss Andrea for sharing it with me. Bye guys.